Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ace from Recline Gamers and heads up that this video is going to be mostly sped up in two times speed just because there's a lot of battling and there might be occasional hiccup because just pausing and change up the team or traveling back to Pokemon Center. But we're just going to start off this video continuing our longest um, route we were here before where we got a uh, Bubble Man. So we're just going to continue from that uh, shack where we got the super rod. And anyway, this guy has a Voltorb and Electrode. Pretty easy to take out. Uh, just going to use Dig on Electrode and it's not going to knock it out, but he's only going to go for Screech. So thankfully we can just finish him off the Rock Slide without taking any damage. And yeah, so we defeat that guy and I don't know why he's playing with Electrical Cords. That's kind of dumb. But Here's Fisherman, and I think there's only like one or two of these guys. Actually, no, I think he's the only one. Yeah, um, once we get past this like water route, there's gonna be a lot of guys who have uh, flying types and some other types of Pokemon, but it's kind of repetitive, so that's why this whole video is really sped up. And we're just gonna go up here and cut down this tree so we can get this item, and we're gonna use Farfetch do that and this girl is going to talk about a moonstone no I don't have one because I don't have a Pokemon that needs to use that but all right I guess it's the guy <laughs> and he's gonna have Nidoran and uh, Nidorino or no Nidorino the male one which is the evolution of the Nidoran male and Sam is gonna go up a level that's always good so yeah Nidorino it's a pretty good Pokemon it's Okay, defenses, pretty good attack, speeds, man. I used to think like, I used to think this whole evol or the whole male Nidoran evolution set and even female was pretty cool, but oh, I really like the male. And yeah, pick up this iron. Iron's good. You can probably just give that to Pokemon, and yeah, I just travel back to Pokemon Center there. So we're not gonna cut down there or that tree or whatever, we're just going to continue battling uh, another Picnicker, there's a few of those, and she has all water type Pokemon, it's going to be a Goldeen, Horsey, and Poliwag, I believe, and yeah, so we're just going to switch to Jolt, because it will make things a lot easier. So yeah, Thunderbolt, Poliwag, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, why did I say that, I don't know. Take out Horsey, and I think we're gonna level up here, maybe. Come on. Yeah, level 34. Yeah, I think Jolt, it's either Jolt or Titan gets up to level 35 in this video, which is pretty good. Fortunately, no one's gonna evolve. Some people are actually really close to that. Yeah, and here's one of the bird keepers. There's a lot of these on this route, so if you have any rock, ice, or uh, electric types, you're not gonna have no problem here. And I just realized that I use Sammy against almost none of these, even though he has Rock Slide. But, yeah. So Titan go gets up to level 34 and he learns Flamethrower, which is so much stronger than Ember. It's really, really good. Uh, unlike Ember, it doesn't have a lot of PP, so you can't use it that much. But it'll do the job pretty well. And I guess I forgot to cut out this little switch up, but I think... I don't think I cut out a lot of switch ups just because I put in fast near and two times speed or whatever. So it doesn't take much time anyway. So Water Pulse is Pidgey and Hort or Bubble Man's gotten a lot stronger. And in this video he takes out like Pidgeotos and Fieros and even speed ties with them, so he's actually close to evolving, so uh like I said, not in this video, but yeah, so once he hits once he evolves, he'll be really, really strong, so don't have to worry at all. This guy's going to go for Pikachu, so obviously he's going to switch out. And Sammy just takes him out. And yeah, go back to Bubble Man. So Meowth is going to almost die from Water Pulse. Just go for Water Gun. And let's see what else. Has a rat attack, rat attack TV. Except that it has quick attack, so it gets him the hit. Yeah. Sorry if this video is maybe a little bit boring and 
I just realized I keep moving my chair and it keeps making squeaking noise. Hope that doesn't get picked up. But yeah, sorry if the uh, if the video is just a little bit annoying or boring, just because. Yeah, this route this route's really good when you're playing, just because a lot of trainers, a lot of experience, which is always good. Yeah, I just teach iron or what am I doing here? What am I? Yeah, sorry about this whole thing. I'm just gonna give the iron to uh, what's his face, Bongo. And there's these two girls right here, and can't pass through, so you have to go the long way, long way around, and have to fight some other trainers. But she has a fairy, which can take out. Actually, I wouldn't say easily, but it does no damage against us, which is good. Bird self infusion, and yeah, it keeps using follow me. Like I think I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. And keeps using follow me, which is dumb because I mean it's a single battle. There is no other target, so if you didn't know, follow me makes you um or you can only attack that Pokemon, so in double battles, like you could have a really offensive Pokemon use that. And they take all the damage while this um while the other Pokemon just keeps on attacking. I don't know. Yeah, I just gonna heal up Bubble Man right here. And all these, and this Meowth's gonna go for Growl. Why do they tend to do that? I mean, do they know that Horsey does not know like any physical moves at all? Mm -hmm. All right, and we have another Beauty Lola. She's gonna go for Rat Attack. Quick Attack's gonna get us like always. But oh, I thought we were gonna finish it off. Go for Water Gun. Come on, ah. Yeah, but Water Gun can get him now. And I guess let's get a little off topic of Pokemon just because this video is so long. And so far, my summer's been amazing. Just going swimming and hanging with my friends all day, playing a little bit of Skyrim. Gonna be going on vacation soon. Hope I can go to some water parks. I'm just happy. Don't have to deal with any schoolwork. Actually, no, I do have to deal with schoolwork. I have to do summer reading. And I can, and it's not like I can do like a spark notes or anything like that. Some of you might say something, do something like that, but I can't because I have to make a journal about the whole book, and oh, it's so annoying. But reading's not the worst thing you can do, so I'll manage. Uh, so yeah, let's just move on, move along. There's gonna be a picnicker, Valerie. She's gonna have a polywag. So of course, bring out Jolt. Jolt's really, really good. Like, I know some of my other Pokemon, I wouldn't say they struggle in battle, but, you know, sometimes two hits. But Jolt, just, he's been amazing so far. He's really strong, really good. And I highly recommend Jolteon. I know, like, for competitive battling, it's OU or whatever. I have no experience using Jolteon. I can't give you any tips or anything, but, if, but it's really good for uh, main game stuff. And yeah, this girl's gonna have a Pidgey, so of course, Jolt. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, all her Pokemon are normal type, I believe, so I can't use Shadow Ball, which kind of sucks. Just kind of like changing it up a bit. And yeah, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Uh, even I'm getting a little bit bored from this video. So yeah, Thunderbolt. It's gonna take out Pidgeotto. And we're gonna move along. Uh, so now I just change up the team a bit. And. Oh, yeah, there's a guy down here. Another bird trainer. Uh, Bubble Man. Go for Ward Pulse. Ding ding. And oh no, confusion. Come on. Yeah, I heard itself in confusion. I don't have to attack it. Yeah. Get to level 29, and now we're going to learn Twister. Twister is a uh, dragon type move, does 40 damage, the equivalent of Border Gun, so not that powerful. But it'll actually double in damage if the, if the opponent uses Fly, which almost never happens, so. But I guess it's good in case we see a dragon type or anything like that. Yeah, but 
then again, I was thinking about maybe teaching Bowman like Ice Beam or something later, so kind of pointless to have a Dragon Titan move. Oh well. So now we're going to take on a Fero, and we get Crit knocked out, which is really surprising and really good that Bubble Man is this strong. And yeah, nothing down there. Uh, if you go to the east a little bit on this route, um, where we were before, there's a tree you can cut down, and there's patches of grass, Pokemon in there, I guess. I know you can get, like, Gloom, Oddish, in Fire Red, or... Victory Bell, or not Victory Bell, Weeping Bell and Bell Sprout in Leaf Green. Both of them are decent. I kind of like Victory Bell a little bit better than Vileplume. But I was almost thinking about using Vileplume. But I have a new Pokemon in mind instead who you'll, you'll see soon. Soonish. And level up again, hit level 30. Yeah, Bubble Man, I think he gets up to level 31 in this vid. So. Getting stronger. Uh, oh. Sorry if you guys heard. Yeah, you guys heard that. I just kind of yawned. It's 11.20. Got up like two hours ago. Yeah. And I recorded all this stuff yesterday, but... I recorded like... Me going through like this route. And then I was like, okay, I can make that into a vid. And I was like, it's kind of short. And I know... Oh, and then I was like, yeah, I can record myself going to Future City, and oh my god, his coughing knocked us out with crit. Ugh, oh, so change. Go to Titan. You can deal with it. There's Flamethrower, super powerful. But yeah, I was like, and eh, I can make this video longer. Just go all the way to Future City. And then I realized it was 20 minutes, and I was like, ugh. Oh. And it's also 20 minutes of me just battling and battling and battling, which it sucks just because it's all like bird trainers. And picnickers who have the same like five Pokemon, and this guy has coughings who we've all we've all seen that before. And I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but there's the cycling road, which is actually kind of cool when you're playing the game. But it's filled with trainers who have mostly like poison types. So yeah, long kind of boring vid in the future. But I don't. Know. And I, what's weird is like, I've, I think I've said this, that I have a Pokemon book, or a Fire Red Guide when I first got the game, and I, I've been using it just to look and see what stuffs, or what stuff I'm going to face, and where I can get certain Pokemon, but, I don't know why, it just has nothing on the cycling road, like, there's no section for it at all, and this covers, the book covers pretty much everything before you beat the games, so like, it'll cover Elite Four, Victory Road, stuff like that. It, it even covers how to get Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. But nope, nothing on the last few islands when you beat the game and Cycling Road. I guess because you don't have to go to Cycling Road, but you also don't have to go through this route. You can pick which way you want to go. Yeah, I kind of paused here because I was thinking this is where I'd cut off the video. But, I'm just going to continue along because it's just going to make things easier. So yeah, it's going to use Quick Attack. I'm just going to go for Water Pulse. Same old, same old. Finish it off here. And I think he has like a Fero. Fero's kind of tough. I think the Fero's faster than us here, but it misses. Then it's going to go for Leer, and we're almost going to knock it out, but it goes for another Leer, so. And I kind of hate myself here, because I went for Border Gun, and I was like, oh, I could have gone for Twister and shown off the new move, but, uh, yeah, we'll have plenty of opportunities to see it. So, yeah, battle this guy. He's going to have a Spiro, and just go for Water Pulse, and knock it out. And let's see. Water Pulse to Doe Duo. And he's going to use Tri Attack, which is a really interesting move that we haven't seen yet. But what it does is it's a normal type move that does like 80 damage, but it has a chance of either burning, freezing, or paralyzed. It's like supposed to combine all three elements ice, fire, electric, whatever. 
But yeah, it's a really useful move because you have such a good chance of getting like some status effect. And it's a decently powerful normal type move. And I know like Dodio can learn it. I think Doug I think yeah, actually Doug Trio can learn it, so maybe teach saying that. And I think Magaton, Porygon. So yeah. Any any Pokemon in threes like that. Those three headed Pokemon can usually learn it and sometimes the occasional normal type. So yeah, this guy is a far fetch. Gonna beat it pretty easily. And this guy's gonna have some more birds. Yay. And what do I have to do is just spear on Firo? Can I don't know. There's a few other foreign types that they could have put in, but I guess they didn't. Actually, I'm trying to think. Are there any other foreign types? I don't know. There's not. Like, the first gen is mostly mono, normal, or normal flying types. And yeah, there's gonna be a double battle over here, so at least something kinda interesting. She's gonna have a Charmander and a Squirtle. Or they're gonna have a Charmander and a Squirtle. So Jolteon can just take out take out a Squirtle and one waterfall should do this Charmander in. Yeah. And there's gonna be another da uh, double battle on the last part of this or on this route. And yeah, there's like this bottom section that you can go through if you don't have cut, but that's also gonna be reserved for another video. Maybe a little training. And Jolteon's just gonna face off against this Pikachu, just because it can't really do much in the way of damage except for normal type attacks, which don't do much. But we get paralyzed, which sucks. Go up to level 35, and for Raichu, we're just gonna switch to Titan, and I just burped there. Hope oh, nah, I. No, nah, I don't want to even try anymore to excuse myself. I'm going to burden you on occasionally, and when you're 16 or 17 minutes into recording, you don't want to go back and start over. Flamethrower is going to take out Raichu, and we're just going to switch up the team a little bit because Sammy and Bongo haven't gotten that much uh, action in this video. So There's going to be this brother and sister who have him on Lee and him on Chan. I don't think we've seen these two before, but Hitmon Lee is a really good uh, offensive Pokemon. Its defenses aren't that great, and it's also pretty fast. And Hitmon Chan, or Hitmon Chan is a little bit more balanced. It has pretty good defenses, and it's attacked okay. And luckily, Hitmon Lee missed on his uh, jump kick, and when you miss on jump kick or high jump kick, you take damage, so always useful. And yeah, now we're gonna feed him, and there's just gonna be one last battle with this girl. She's gonna have the fairy. Hold on a second. There it is. And yeah, Bongo's gonna go for Karate Chop, and we're actually gonna get Crit. Thought I probably would have knocked her out anyway, but still, Crit's always nice. And we're still Yeah, TM18 Yeah, up here is the safari zone and I'm going to go there. 